and welcome to the super fun awesome happy time pedal show my name is Gabor hey welcome along I'm Alex and we're gonna check a microphone today this is a ribbon mic from home microphones the HR01 and this is very good and also designed for recording guitar amps yes yep so uh, Nelson who lives in Melbourne Australia hi Nelson hello hope you're well and um, yeah I hope you're doing okay down there um, this is his baby, and he's been making ribbon mics to record with. This is a guitar hand, player. All handmade, yeah. And, they are. And hand etched, I think, up the top as well, and they come in different colours and designs. And cool. I'll put a link to the Instagram page where you can see lots of cool pictures of, of the mm. different designs, and he has different uh, grill designs too. Yep. So, yeah. There's, so There's a really cool one with like a whole bunch of circles. and. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's, um, like, I think it's called acid etching on the top with yeah. the logo and the information, the serial number. And yeah, this one in particular is kind of a cool coppery orange color. I'm sure we'll do a bunch of close-up photos for you. Yes. So, we're not quite sure how to demo a microphone properly. So we basically just set it up right in front of the guitar amp, which is in this case a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Yes. Single 12 uh, combo, and we just put it right in the middle of the speaker and start playing guitar, and all you hear is this microphone in front of the speaker no, we're not, not going to do any post processing, and it's really lovely. All oh, obviously, um, ribbon microphones have a tendency to roll off a little bit of top end, and so they're really good for making guitar amps, especially if you think something like a hot rod deluxe, where sometimes they can get a little bit bitey and barky yeah. upstairs in the trebles, and um, this can make that sound much prettier and lovely and make you sound like you're doing what you're doing. So, what do you say? The setup is, we're basically just going through, we do have one overdrive pedal which we'll turn on at some point, and... A couple of different guitars. Straight into the amp. Straight into the amp, yes. Yeah. through one preamp on the console which has no EQ engaged, and that's the sound you'll hear. Yep. So, yeah, let's plug this in and get some tones. Alright, we're going to start with some clean tones, and this is just the guitar straight into the amp. There's a bit of spring reverb on the amp. And I'm using my parts master caster, blaster, caster master blaster caster, and there's a video to that there uh, with some fantastic Martin A. Smith pickups, and I'm going to start off just on the neck, uh, which sounds. What 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 chord should I play? Uh, B flat. That's actually quite nice. No, no, that's, that's actually, it's not too bad after okay. all. Yeah, um, I'll just play some pieces over with the P90s. All right, and I'll go humbuckers. Sure. Funky white cop guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, this one buck is it there. Uh, I'm in his AS100 uh, from the year 1981. All stock. It's a slightly dodgy knob. It's retro dust in your pots there. Yeah.
It's a lovely big sound. Yeah, it's, I, oh. I don't want to use that the fender thing, but it is the fender thing. Because it's a little bit scooped, sort of jangly up the top and a bit of extension down downstairs. <laughs> don't forget about your extension downstairs people. So we've also <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We've also got a overdrive pedal. Oh, you go first. Well, actually, hang on. I'll go. I'll go humbuckers first, and then I'll sure. swap, and you can. And it's called the Dude by J Rocker. We're going to get a demo, full demo of this coming up soon. Yes. And just checking out some sound and trying it out. Um, yeah, let's could do the edge of breakup thing and ease into that. I've got middle pickup for that. between the two pickups. A lot of. A lot of bottom end. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. That, Sounds um, cool. That ribbon just makes the top end super smooth. Yeah, there's not ha no harshness. No. Definitely no harshness. Okay. Which can sometimes be a little factor with the Hot Rod Deluxes. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, yeah. they're a bit barky. Let's do Parts Master Caster, Blaster Master Caster on the wide range picker. For me, this needs to be there. <laughs> All out. Too much reverb on the amp for this that time. A little bit, yeah. But that's cool. It's uh, yeah, it's our reverb we do what I want. Yeah, cool. Um, it all seems to be sitting pretty nicely. Yes. And um, lovely, 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 lovely. You know what we should do? What's that? In a different video, maybe. Use that mic in a track. Hmm. Maybe even. I'm just gonna be crazy here. <gasps> maybe even use a track and record. The tr the, like a part of the track yeah. with multiple mics ah. just to hear the difference in a track to see what the ribbon does compared to other mics. That's a good idea. Stay tuned for that. Yes, and it's an orange ribbon to mic too, so that's the, the color adds to the flavor <laughs> of it. Orange tastic. Yes, it's yeah. orange tastic. Yeah, cool. So, thoughts on ribbon mics? Uh, it's ri rib tastic. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds good. We'll so I mean, I mean, uh, you can also. We did actually do a video which you can watch here, 
where we did a bit of a shootouty kind of thingy dingy uh, between different mics and moved the mics around. It was more about recording, uh, how to record and moving microphones around the mic placement. Um, but to me, the ribbon just had it just had such a nice full sound, and it wasn't harsh. Yeah, uh, it sits in a nice place. The yeah. like a like a cardioid or like a fifty-seven star microphone is quite top endy, and then you have condensers which can be quite bottom endy, quite he heavy on that. And it ribbons it sort of in the middle somewhere. I find for me, for sure, yeah, it has that. It fills the gap in the middle. Yep, if you just to use one mic to get, especially. Um I was going to say especially clean tones, but it's not always the case. Like, that's pretty high gain. Lots of reverb. <laughs> Lots of reverb. Maybe too much reverb. Yeah, cool. Well, um, yeah, um, thanks so much for hanging out and checking out the uh, our little time playing with the microphone. Yes, yeah, so uh, big thank you to Home Microphones here in uh, Australia as well. I'll put links to everything below. Yep. Uh, go and check it out. Oh, links to our Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group chat and podcast too. We chat all about this kind of stuff and gear and sometimes get guests on. Yes. And yeah, any comment, comments and questions below would be much appreciated. Below. Thanks for hanging. See you soon.